What's up guys, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks. And internet's not always readily available to you. And when you're on the laptop and in desperate need for some, look no further than your iPhone. Today I'm gonna show you how to use your device as a mobile hotspot and share your iPhone's internet with other devices. So to get this started, you need an iPhone running at least iOS 7 or above. And this is a carrier specific feature though most major carriers do have it if you're unsure you can just try it out or you can check out this guide as a link out to an apple support page that shows carrier specific features including this personal hotspot one we're gonna enable right now so to get started we're gonna go to settings personal hotspot enable personal hotspot there's actually three ways of connecting. You can connect via Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or you can connect using a USB. Now, before we go over those three methods, I do advise that you have a data plan that's unlimited or a large data plan as connecting another, another device will eat up your cellular data. So just be aware of that before you do it. And I mean, I only do this when I'm in desperate need of some as I don't have unlimited data. But now let's go ahead to the three ways of connecting, starting with Wi-Fi. If you want to use Wi-Fi, go ahead and tap Wi-Fi password. Now from here, you're just going to create a password. It has to be at least eight characters long, and it can include numbers. Um, only some special characters are permitted, but for the most part, just put in a password. It's the same thing as your Wi-Fi at home if you have some. So once you're done with that, just hit done. So with that enabled, my device is actually discoverable to nearby devices. So if I go right here, you can see it says Gonzarelli's iPhone. That's my iPhone and I just connect. And if you're using continuity, you can use instant hotspot, which means you don't have to enter the password. But if you're not, you have to use the password, which I created and it's Neil's hotspot. And that's basically it. Now you're connected and you'll know you're connected because on the iPhone, you will have this blue status bar indicating that personal hotspot has one connection. So now let's go over Bluetooth. So for the Bluetooth option, just enable Bluetooth on both devices. Make sure you can scan and discover them on each device. Um, and all you have to do essentially is connect. Now this device doesn't have any cellular data and I did turn off Wi-Fi just to show you. So I have the phone in the list. I'm gonna go ahead and hit connect. So if it doesn't connect on one device, you can try on the other one. And now it's connected. And as you can see up top, I have the blue indicator letting me know that I am connected and now this does have access to my cellular data. So let's just go to Google real quick. Um, connection may take a little while, but it will work and give me internet access as I just search cars on the Android device. So now let's show you how to use a USB cord. So using a USB, it's pretty straightforward. Get the USB cable that came with your device or one that you bought and just connect it to your computer. Once you're connected, just open the network preferences on your Windows or Mac. Um, if you are using a Mac, it's going to look like this. I have a list of all these options for my network connection. I have Wi-Fi toggled off, and all I'm going to do is select iPhone USB. I've already connected it, but if you just select it, you can hit apply right down here in the bottom right, and it'll connect. And then if you look once more at the iPhone, you should notice the blue status bar Again, indicating that I do have one connection and that my device is tethered. So for more information, check out the full guide over at GadgetX.com. If you're using a Mac, definitely check out the guide because there's a little tip in there that will help you dictate which applications can access cellular data once you are connected to your cell phone's data. So again, check out the full guide over at GadgetX.com. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget videos. Thanks, guys.